Hello friends, my name is Renuka. Welcome back to my channel and today I will show that how you can use one stamp and create different things. So here, this is the Peace Lily stamp. I just went over to the internet and saw that in how many colors it's um there and what kind of stuff. So I don't want to share all that process, but I just want to show you. So you will, when uh, run out of ideas, you can just go and search uh, that way. So first, very simple, I just stamped this image. This image is from Hero Arts, my monthly kit. You can see all the details on my blog. But basically, you can choose any image and then you can search on the Google that which colors they are already there in. So you will get a reference image uh, to do that. And then what I did is I pull out uh, most of my coloring supplies and decided to use all of them. So these are the those things uh, when you don't have time and, you know, you are just um, coming to your desk for 10 or 5 minutes and that's you have to do so after seeing those images i decided to go ahead and first color this with the red orange shades and these are the clean color markers and uh, you can try them on your paper cardstock or whatever you're using i use the momento black water um, resist ink as well as the canson white watercolor card now here you can do the shading also you can go ahead with the different colors you can add more on them i'm just going little bit slower so that uh, if you want to do you can do it with me although i speed up this process but just because of this you will get an idea that um, what exactly i'm doing here and which shades and colors i use and at the end of the video i will show you that how i use all these images um in a project now it's totally up to you if you have a uh, lots of images colored you can um use them on the cards also most of the times i what i do is i go with the background and then color and i coordinated everything but if you want to create a just quick cards then you can color all these images and then you can choose a neutral color card base you can emboss it um you can just keep it plain or you can color blend it and then you can pop this image out and according to the occasion you can just write um like happy birthday or happy anniversary or something like that most of the times uh, flower stamps are those kind of stamps which go with any occasion and everybody has some kind of flower stamp with them uh, so just go to your stash and see what you have so these are the z clean color markers i have alcohol markers also i have watercolors also so most of the times what happened whatever you um on the desk or in front of you you use that and then you decided oh okay now i don't want to you know <laughs> go and grab the other things when you have lots of supplies and it happened to me also so just revisiting all my supplies and feeling love um about them and how i using them so this is the same stamp came in the another one and i decided to use a different shades of the color with it sometimes rather than going with the um, natural colors you can just choose a one shade vibrant color just here i choose the one shade vibrant and i'm just mixing that with the water uh, why i do that sometimes you need a pop of color and that's look good on the project rather than having everything realistic unless and until you are just framing that realistic image uh that is also good but these what i'm doing here is this is a very fast uh, technique of doing it just for those lazy days and then um i most of the times um uh, i just grab the uh, kit or the stamp and then i do the coloring according to the background i decide something something and uh, that is the go-to thing but if you want to create the most production you can do this rather than coloring the same image uh, in the same colors uh, just explore what color combination you're gonna love sometimes in the google search or pinterest search you didn't find anything just go with your go with the flow and see like what you like and do that uh, sometimes unrealistic image also look good especially for the flowers um, obviously you're going to put um, a little bit of a combination there and here um, this cardstock is nina solar white cardstock this is not a watercolor cardstock 
so every time i use a different kind of combinations and try to explore the stuff what i have with me this is the clean color markers i have for the long time and then still <laughs> get going um you will get a blender with this um that i ordered monthly because most of the times i didn't shoot the things but i use these and that blender um kind of blend it very well uh, if you don't have blender you can use the watercolor pan, um, brush with the dip of water you can do that also so now you can see every time i'm trying to do little bit different not much but little bit different uh, about the colors and uh, that will give me a much nicer idea so did i uh, put all this color combination in my kit no i didn't i just use them whatever i have i just use them and at this time i decided to make a one gratitude kind of art journal and uh, i decided to use all those images there uh, maybe i left some of it maybe i'll use all of it but yeah this is the main idea of doing it that you can see your color combinations add more maybe you can imagine maybe you can go with the realistic one it just uh, um you know at that times wipe so sometimes i just play with the one medium you can do that and then next day you can play with the another medium so when i'm doing this i'm in participating that 100 day project but i'm very very bad at posting so i never posted properly one by one uh, but my main idea is not posting by doing it and using whatever i have with me so i did this and now i will show you that how you can pop those on anything like this and it will turn out into the card all these are the part of uh, that kit this is hero arts a uh, new kind of it's not new but it's kind of full color thing and um, you can see on my video channel uh, that how i create this album and you can see these are like in um, series so you can see there then i decided to use black cardstock here i use the white pigment ink and then i'm using these metallic pencil colors so on the black always metallics look nice or the dark shades and in real life the catches colors so beautifully but here uh, you can't see these are the faber castell one and uh, you can mix those two color these are not water soluble but um you can blend them together little bit whenever you are working with the white pigmenting make sure that uh, it will dry uh, perfectly or you can use a heat gun before that i am using mostly hero arts pigmenting and i have one i think crafter companion yeah but any uh, pigmenting uh, ink will work if you want to use the watercolors you can use the white stays on ink and white stays on is kind of a stuff like that you can put on the acetate you can put on white cardstock dark cardstock and uh, now where i'm saying white cardstock you can eat emboss it kind of giving that kind of stuff it will give you uh my stays on ink uh, got ran out and i didn't buy it again but yeah that is the main thing i want to tell here and it will give a more beautiful and vibrant effect than i'm uh, seeing at here itself so these metallic pencils are nice to add little bit of accents i thought when i buy them but um like on the cardstock dark color cardstock they pop up really nice and they are looking so so beautiful all together uh, in real life they shine so much and now here you can't see that much so um you can see that how you like your um supplies and how you can mix and match them here i'm kind of sticking to one supplies and seeing that how i can use now i just uh simply stamp that same image on the 60 lb i think yeah it is the cardstock from the recollections and then i'm using this prima white color pencil and i just want to pop those colors um like white peach lilies on there and it pops so well and very nicely and i blend it together very nicely i use again the same momento black ink for everything uh but um 
you can use black stays on also or you can put the stamp image same on the misty and after coloring it you can restamp it that is another idea to pick and make those color vibrant or you can just go with the fine line gel marker if you don't have misty and then you can recreate again i didn't bother much i will just buff off little bit and um, that will give me a nice effect and you can see that on that olive green card stock all those white lilies and uh, dark color uh, you have to use the dark color pencil more darker shades and then I just add the pop of color there so sometimes I like this pop of color with the vibrancy and the kind of fluorescent colors uh, so yeah I'm very colorful fun and I like that way and then you can dark it out this and pop on the full image on the craft card stock and that will also give a beautiful beautiful effect then again these are the theory art colors um and these are so beautiful i use them on the white i use them on color on color i use them on black so this time i decided to try them on this uh, particular panel so what happened when we create cards and projects you have lots of leftover uh, pieces of the cardstock like this i i don't know why i cut this and i didn't use it end up ending up i have piles of piles of cardstock on my desk so i just want to get rid of it and then i just um decided to see so this is very unusual color combination if you see that and then i decided to go ahead with the shimmery color Color and it will give a little bit of transparency you can still three still see through those colors a little bit in real life so so but um, that shimmer gives a really nice effect to them and um, I really like those shimmer colors. Shimmer colors go along like I have this for a long time. And th these go long. These are very vibrant one. I bought them from the HC I think. Uh, but you can choose any shimmer color and they will go long, last long. And because most of the times you layer them on one of the colors. This time I'm not layering them. I'm directly layering them on the cardstock this time. But... Uh, um, you can you can layer them on the watercolor like you can do the same thing on the watercolor first on the lighter shade or the darker shade and you can just add those uh, if you watch my videos now i'm just showing you that how i can add just a layer of little bit of glitter on it color on color same here i'm just using a little bit of color and it's very very diluted so you can try the techniques which you want to try on this small stuff you can revisit your techniques which you already know but sometimes lack of time or you don't have that kind of project so you didn't do that so this is the perfect time to you know um use all those techniques revisit the techniques and sometimes these kind of challenges give the uh, nice uh, kind of uh, you know reboost to the creativity and you can see that we have lots and lots of them now and um, i'll show you that how the like, first time we can do that now this is the panel you can do this you can do this you can have vases you can mix and match your sentiments whatever you have or you can just put flowers on every greeting card and put uh, them just like that and when it's needed you can just you know add the sentiment that that gonna also work so these are the few panels and the leftovers from it you can create a tag also out of it uh it's totally um a fun thing <laughs> to do and um you can just uh, see what colors you love what combinations you love this is a nice exercise to do um on the things so black shimmery and black colors having a really always a nice combination they pop them very very nicely on it so uh, you can see the difference between the shimmer colors and the shimmer pencil here and the layering of the shimmer colors. Um, so it just, you know, a reminder, a little reminder to you that what you have, how you're using and what else you can do or you can just experiment. Look, these are the very small images, right? You can experiment with them and see like here I decided to add those two colors and blend them directly on the uh cardstock rather than making first layer and then adding a second layer i'm just directly using my brush picking up those colors and it turned out so so beautiful in real life it's catching so much shimmer and i should take all of these pictures before i put them on the 
that album but i didn't do that uh, but still you can see that how fun it is how um superb it is and uh, then i'm just using coppers and golds and pinks in that so you can see that uh, you should not have that green leaf every time you can just go ahead and create something something uh, different every time and just uh, mix and match a little bit of tint here and there and that will give a really really nice effect so here i choose the peace lily you can see that maybe you have a rose stamp maybe you have something else you can just try it and see uh, what kind of different effects you can create with them and you don't have to do all the things at one time you can just go and you know do some like choose one color medium at a time and you can use that and when you your deck is full of all the color mediums you can mix and match them definitely you can do that also and if you don't have a, a particular um image or a stamp in your mind you can create a abstract kind of design with it you can just draw a circles and circles and you can add those colors on the circles and you can mix match them um you can blend them directly on the paper you can do the stuff so it's totally depend how you want to do uh, sometimes i didn't record this process i just uh, i just you know Uh, make the stuff and keep it with me or i have these small cards with me in my bag so whenever i go i just grab any medium sometimes i have watercolor sometimes i have uh, sketch pens in my bag so it doesn't matter what you have you can just doodle on these kind of images you can create just a small dots tiny dots you can carry just a, a micro pen and you can do um, just you know gradation of dots so it's like fun to do and use your scraps so i just pull out some of those papers didn't think much um, i think this image will go yellow on um, better yellows are also there i didn't record that i think and then i have a very beautiful spray painted paper i just put some sprays of um, greens and color watercolor green and um, distress inks Uh, distress mica inks and then i just uh, stamp these images and then cut out in the green you can see that in the video um like where i use them then i thought why not all these are dry just add little bit pop of dots you can add the new drops you can use the these are the scrapbook.com pop dots you can use anything or you can just put a little bit of um, any paste there or uh, something like that so but these things are very fun and i really like how they come out all together then i have my colors uh, already out so i decided to just color some of these um, sentiments also so these are the very easy techniques to color your sentiment you can just um, put those sentiments inside the die cutting don't pull out them and then you can you know just add the different uh, colors to them you can shade them here i'm using the two shades of uh, go, like i use the gold shimmer shades gold and uh, red cuz i really like that combination and i thought everything is out so why not use our supplies more so <laughs> i did that and it will take little bit time to dry but it will uh, perfectly fine and if your uh, things are coming out you can just put a uh, tape behind them so this is the album where i use all those images uh, you can take a idea from this and you can make the basic um, kind of uh, cards with them also and you can see the whole thing on my uh, youtube channel uh, the flip through of this album in more detail and how i create how i smooth all this stuff here those are the green things i'm talking about that gonna look also very very beautiful so um it's a matter like what matters you more and how you want to do sometimes don't think just do it go with the flow i hope you like this project so until the next crafty project have a crafty life bye bye thanks for your support and love and love to read your comments um let me know what you want to see more or you want to create something or you want to see something um i'm really happy to see all this comment one comment make my day so until the next crafty project have a crafty life bye bye take care